This year, there have been more people coming to the UK in small boats than ever before. They cross the English Channel between France and the south of England, but it's a dangerous journey and most people agree it shouldn't happen. The UK government has said this week that it is working more closely with France to try and stop people making the crossing. In a special report, Shaniqua has been to Kent, where most of the small boats arrive. I'm at the port of Dover and it's one of Europe's busiest ferry ports as it links Great Britain to the rest of Europe through the stretch of water known as the English Channel. Now this location is very important as it's connected to an issue that lots of people are talking about. It's all to do with the number of people who are referred to as migrants crossing the channel in small boats to get to the UK from other countries. More and more migrants have been crossing the channel in this way and it's known to be very dangerous. Some people are escaping from wars in their home countries, while others are leaving because of unfair treatment linked to their race, belief or religion. Now, many of these people have requested to stay when they get here, to remain and receive protection as a refugee. Now, for some migrants that come, they want to work or study here in the UK. However, entering the country without permission is illegal. These pupils from Dover have been sharing their thoughts on what's been going on with the migrants in the UK. The situation of the migrants makes me feel a little bit sick um, because they have been coming over on boats so when they, and crossing the English Channel when they should feel like they are welcome. Um, well, I actually think that you should be allowed to come wherever you like need to come because Imagine, like, I wouldn't like it. I'd have to flee if um, war, like, if I was trying to get away from the war from my home, then of course I'd want to move. It's good that they're, like, coming here to have a better life, but in bad ways, I think that they should, like, also be travelling to somewhere else. I don't think there should be limits on how many people are allowed to come into the country. I think they should be just allowed to if they're in a tough situation especially if they're bringing like children and a whole family. Unless they're coming over for a reason, they shouldn't be allowed to. Unless something, like, in, unless like there's a war like in Ukraine, or like, some, or like they're being harassed, or they need to come over because they're like someone in their family's ill, or like they need a certain medicine. Like, I don't think they should do it if, they, if there's no like really major reason. The government has faced lots of criticism about how it's handling the migrant situation. Some people think that it should take a tougher approach to the smaller boats and that it's important to the security of the UK. Others are focused on the treatment of the migrants and they're worried that they're not being properly looked after. And they think that there should be safer routes for these people when they arrive to the UK. Behind me here is the Manston Migrant Centre. Many of the people who arrive to the UK by small boats are sent here, where they're supposed to go through important checks before being moved to other types of accommodation. However, that isn't what's been happening here at Manston. Recent reports suggest record numbers of migrants are being held here, and for much longer than they should be. Conditions are said to be bad, and people aren't getting the healthcare they need which has led to the spread of diseases. As a refugee from my family, my family a refugee, it hurts me how some people could treat others like that and, it, and like take them out in cold weathers and dirty environment and starve them even after what they've been going through because they might be hiding from the war, political issues, race, they've been people are racist to them and they or they might just be from a little social group. It's affected me mo emotionally because I would like to help but I'm only a kid so I can't do that much. There's lots of charities and organisations that are working hard to help centres like Manston across the UK. However, the government is under a lot of pressure to sort the situation here quickly. And it's also raised lots of questions about the support in place to help migrants when they arrive to the UK. And many 
say that more needs to be done. Well, Newsround asked the government about the current migrant situation in the UK. It told us the number of people arriving in the UK who require accommodation has reached record levels and has put our asylum system under incredible strain. The government also told us it's working hard with local authorities to find appropriate accommodation. But it said putting people in hotels is unacceptable. To find out more about this story, head to Newsround online for lots more information.